Well, good morning, everybody. I wanted to uh, welcome you and introduce you to the Shortel Call Recorder Player. Um, in short, this is a really simple and easy to use web based tool um, that allows you to locate, listen to, and depending on your um, permissions, uh, download and even delete. Uh, call recordings. So uh, again, this is it's a web-based player, uh, which means you can access it through most any of the um, web browsers that you may be using. And when you get to the to the login page, which you can get from your internal support team, the link to that, uh, the user ID and password tie directly to your Shortel communicator client. Or if you're on any of the Shortel or Mitel Connect builds, it'll use your Connect client credentials. So go ahead and enter those and log in and here we arrive at the player. So there is not a whole lot to this. It's a very simple and rudimentary tool uh, to be able to locate and listen to recorded calls. A couple things I want to point, up, point out here at the top. You can see that I'm logged in. It ties my extension to the player. If I want, I can click the button to play any of the recordings from my phone. If that's not checked, it'll just play through your PC speakers. On the left hand side here, we've got a list of all the users in the system. Um, as an administrator or supervisor, you can be given access to everybody, to certain groups, or um, if you're not a supervisor or administrator, you would only have access to your own recordings. So let's say you are a call center supervisor in a customer service group, and maybe you had a new employee start a few weeks ago and you just want to spot check um, a few of their uh, call recordings, you can locate them in the list here and clicking on their folder will display all the calls that have been recorded thus far. Very quickly, the play button here obviously will play back that recording depending on whether that box is checked or not determines where um, that call recording is going to be played back from. The little green arrow pointing down is the download button so you can save that as a WAV file to your desktop on your computer and if you're an administrator you have access to then delete those calls. We can see the date and time that that call was saved, the length of the recording, and then the file name. The file name is really important because that's what allows us to search or filter. Now the filter is a pretty simple filter. You can only filter by one thing at a time. However, you can filter by anything that is named in the uh, file name as it is here. So these are predefined parameters that are built into the file name. They can be changed and customized, but some of the basic things that you might want to um, save in the file name are the uh, user or agent's name, maybe their extension as you see here, the direction of the call, whether it's an inbound or outbound call, the date, the time, and the connected ID. The connected ID is simply the phone number. The GUID here that you see, GUID, that's a unique identifier for every call, and that's what allows the call recorder to be tied into third-party applications like Brightmetrics, which I'll cover in another video. So going up to the filter, probably one of the most commonly used things to filter by is phone number. So if you type in a phone number, hit apply, you'll see the list on the left-hand side here shrink, and now it's just showing me all of the users that are associated with a call to or from that phone number. So here we go, we're clicked on my extension. I can see three times that I've had a call to or from. And I can quickly see the date and time if I know the date that that occurred, and then I can click the play button to listen back to that recording. Now, the downside to the filter is that at this point, you cannot filter by multiple things. So as you can see, maybe in this scenario, you know the phone number of the caller that you wanna pull the rec recording from, but you don't know who they talked to, you just know the number they called from and maybe a general date and time. So you'd have to click down through each one of those, find that date and time, and then listen to it from there. This is where Bright Metrics comes into play if you have the Bright Metrics um, application and you can um, search for things much easier within that. But being able to um, scroll down through quickly a list of your agents in the call center and being able to listen to their calls and also filter by certain parameters such as phone number. This uh, call recorder player does a very good job at allowing you to um, quickly sort through those. Again, as you try to narrow down and search for different parameters or multiple parameters, that's really where we're going to have to pull bright metrics, um, which will allow you to do that much more easily. So that's it. That's a short tail call recorder player. Again, not very difficult to use, very simple interface, and I hope that's helpful.